and welcome back to the Little Miss Funeral YouTube channel. I know that it has been a while since I have made a YouTube video. This time of year kind of begins busy season in the funeral home and I know that that sounds weird but it's true anytime during the holidays the funeral home tends to get a lot busier so I have just been working a lot and I haven't been able to put out any new videos. First things first I want to definitely address the elephant in the room and yes my hair is brown. I know you all thought I was a natural blonde. I know but I'm not. I'm actually a natural brunette so now that we got that out of the way, the video that I wanted to make today is actually all about death certificates. Now, once again, because I am a licensed funeral director in the state of New York, I am going to be talking about the New York death certificates. They can slightly differ state to state with the information that is needed. I thought that would be a fun video to go over the information that is required for a death certificate and the things that you need certified copy death certificates for. In New York State, we have two different kinds of death certificates. We have paper death certificates and then we have electronic death certificates. Certificates. Paper death certificates look like this. If these kind of certificates are filled out, it is a lot of running around for the funeral home, which really isn't a problem, but it, it takes up a lot of time. But basically, we would go to the doctor's office, have them sign and fill this out, pick it up from them, bring it back to the funeral home, type out information on the top, and then take this certificate to the clerk's office in the town in which a person passes away. It's just a lot of running. Now something that is actually new for my area of New York State this past year is an electronic death certificate. It's exactly what it sounds like, where basically we have a portal that we go into where funeral directors, clerk's offices, and physicians all have access to it, and you fill out all the information on the computer. Basically, that saves us us a ton of driving back and forth because we just log in, type in the information, and then we just have to pick up the certified copies from the clerk's office. So we're driving one place instead of back and forth numerous times. Regardless of the kind of certificate that we have to fill out, whether it's electronic or whether it's an actual paper copy, the certified copies that we give to the families are going to be the same. They're all going to be printed up on the same kind of paper and they're all going to have that seal on them. The seal is the important thing, which a lot of people don't realize. A lot of people say, well, can I just get one certified copy and make photocopies of them? A lot of times you don't know what you need certified copies for. Some places may take a copy of it, but more often than not, the companies that you're going to be giving these certificates to want to have the one with the seal on it. You may need a certified copy of a death certificate if your loved one had any sort of life insurance, pensions, any sort of stocks, bonds, annuities, things like that. Now, if you've just lost a loved one and if you're going to be making an appointment with a funeral director to handle their funeral arrangements, your funeral director is going to need to gather a lot of information about that person. So the information that's required in the New York State Death Certificate may slightly differ state to state. We're going to need to know your loved one's name, their full name. We have to check off the sex of a person, so whether or not they're male or female. We have to know the date of passing and the time of passing. We also have to fill out the place of passing. We need to know their date of birth and place of birth. When I say place of birth, I'm not talking about a hospital or address or things like that. We basically want to know the city or township. If your loved one's a veteran, we need to know that and also the years that they served. We have to fill out the level of education. We have to know an occupation and we can't write down retired. So if your loved one is retired, we have to write down their last occupation that they had. We need to know their address. New York State also wants to know parents' names, and that includes a mother's maiden name. And then lastly, what we need to write on there is the informant or the next of kin. So I can only write down one name on a New York State death certificate. So if the deceased has children, let's say that they have three children, there's only room for me to write down one of their names. Even though all three children would be seen as equal next of kin, they would kind of have to come to the conclusion as to what name is going to appear on the certificate. Once the funeral home fills in that portion, the funeral director will type in their name and sign the certificate and then we'll write in the funeral home's address underneath there. The bottom portion of the death certificate is where the doctor will fill in all of their information. So they write down the probable cause of passing. They'll also write down if it was a natural accident or suicide. 
and three people have to sign off on this death certificate. You need a licensed funeral director to sign the certificate. You need a physician or medical examiner to sign the certificate. And lastly, you need the registrar to sign off on the death certificate. So that's going to be the town or city, uh, the clerk over there who's going to sign off on that. And death certificates are always filed in the municipality in which a person passes away. So if I live in Buffalo, New York, but I pass away in Rochester, my death certificates are going to be filed within Rochester, not Buffalo. I hope that this answered a couple of questions for all of you on the information that's required for a New York State death certificate and some reasons why you might need certified copies of a death certificate. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see any sort of videos that I might put out for all of you in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. <music>